And uh, so usually what you're going to do is you're going to attack that, that lock. So if there's a door handle in here, and this is the right side of the lock where it goes to the hinge, that's the side that you're going to attack. So typically what you want to do is you want to keep a 45 in and, and 45 down. I'm not able to really get a full 45 and 45, so this is where having that, that pistol grip, having that short barrel allows you to do that sort of stuff. <clears throat> With these, because we don't have the standoff on there, so you don't want to stand off, get that angle, and you're going to fire downwards at 45 and in at 45. Because <clears throat> what you're trying to do is minimize any projectiles going in the room so you don't get collateral damage uh, you know, for anybody that could be in there. You can breach with anything. You can breach with a slug, but that slug is going to keep on, <laughs> it's going to keep on going in there. Same thing with buckshot. Like I said, you can breach with birdshot, but <clears throat> most, most breachers, most dedicated breachers use that, that shot lock. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just show you real quick. 45 in, you want to stand off about those two inches. See how I have to choke up on this? Even with that, you guys are going to have that problem with that. So if we have to, we'll just shoot the bottom ones if you can't get up high enough, especially for you people with the vertically challenged. There's a couple of you in here. So you're just coming up, get that 45, 45. And you see just with bird shot, it didn't have a problem going through that. Okay. <clears throat> Your interior core doors, they're a lot softer. Some of your exterior doors, store doors may have a little bit more on there. It might be hard to do. You might have to defeat that with another round. But I'll show you one more time. Coming up, 45 and 45. About two inches off. And you're going 45 and 45 in. So basically what you're doing is you're trying to get that, defeat that lock. And any, anything that's going past that is going to be going more into the door frame side. So you're putting less projectiles in the room. But you can go ahead and come on, step up. And you need to see your doors. They're usually pretty hollow right? So it's going to be hitting that lock. So what you're trying to do is hit that lock where it hits, where it bolts in there, where it closes there, and it's going to blow that. Most of what happens is it really blows the force of that lock, you know, where it bolts into the door. What it's really doing is that force of it's actually going to be ripping that wood on that other side where it comes out, and then basically that, that's where you're going to kick that door and it's going to come off, okay? But sometimes when you see it, it might not go right away. You may have to follow up with a second shot, okay? But typically you just stay with that 45 and 45 in rule. And that's why breaching shotguns or short barrels with pistol grips. Because sometimes you could be working in a hallway and I might not be able to get that stand off in that hallway because you're, cr you're too crowded in there. And that pistol grip short barrel allows you to get in there and work, work the door for a breach and get your entry team in there. Okay? But this is just to show you guys kind of the concept of breaching. Okay? Breaching course is a totally, it's another school onto its own. It's another eight or 16 hours, okay? Because you can go through manual ballistic demo, all that sort of stuff, but even just ballistic breaching and manual breaching, people got to really have their head on their shoulders when they're doing that. And they got to really know what they're attacking and what they're doing, uh, especially if they're using different types of rounds, okay? Any questions? Zert Instructor Chief has served for over 19 years in the Army Special Forces. During the last three years, he has served as the detachment commander for his ODA. He deployed in 2002 for Operation Enduring Freedom and has traveled extensively with operations supporting foreign internal defense. ZERT is what you make it. Your drive and dedication to improving your skills and helping to build a community of like-minded individuals in your area is up to you. ZERT's community network and training is an opportunity. Take it as far as you desire and remember that you reap what you sow. In life, nothing that has high value comes easily. You have to want it, and you have to have the drive to make it happen. So get involved. Most importantly, always train to help better yourself so you can protect the ones you love. ZERT is not just an organization. It's a lifestyle. ZERTNation.com